Hey, it's Miss Alana, working on math, getting smarter and smarter every day, just like you. Special shout out to all my former students who are still watching tutorial videos. Hey, hope you all are doing well. I know you all are doing amazing in sixth grade, or I think some of you all are even older, maybe in high school and in college. Ah, hey, hey, to all my former students. All right, we are working on today's math assignment. We are working on number four. This is tutorial. Uh, the tutorial video for question number four. All right, let's begin. We are multiplying 2043 by six. So let's do that first. We need to write it out. 2043. Oh, I was about to write it right here. No, we need to write it right here times six. And let's multiply. We have six times three, three times six. You should know your times tables. That is 18. Write the eight. Put the one up top, then we have 6 times 4 is 24, plus 1 is 25, write the 5, 2 up top. 6 times 0 is 0, remember anything times 0 is what? It's always 0. Plus 2 is 2, and then 6 times 2 is 12. So I'm going to write the 12 right there, and now we need a comma, count over 1, 2, 3 spaces, comma right there. All right, so now we multiply. The other way is to what? Use repeated addition. We need to write 2043 how many times? Six times. So we need to add that six times. So let's write that out. 2043. Now it is very important that you line everything up nice and neat. One, two, three, four, five, and one more. Now, you see how we're writing this straight up and down, and I did my best to write it vertically as nice and straight. This is why we need to use a graphic, well, the graphing notebook. This is why I asked you all to have a graphing notebook. That way, you know, the boxes will help you make sure it's nice and straight. And even when we're going to draw charts and different kinds of things. So make sure that by Monday, you have your graphing notebook. Raise your hand if you already have one. All right, cool beans. So make sure you bring that. I know I asked you to have two. We'll use the other one when you run out of pages on the first one. I can hold on to that here in the classroom, or you can make sure you keep up with that once you run out, okay? So make sure you have that by when? By Monday, all right? So let's add three plus three plus three plus three plus three plus three. Three plus three is six plus three is Nine plus three is 12 plus three is 15 plus three is 18. I'm going to show you a trick for the threes. Oh, or you can multiply, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six times three is 18. Same thing we got here. Now, when I look at three, the number three, I see three little points. One, two, three. So when I like to add or count by threes, I can count. You know what? Let me use, let me use that pen. Look, I can count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Bam! Oh, I love counting like that because I could just like touch the number and go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Bam! All right, so I'm going to write the 18 right here and put the one up here. All right, four plus four is eight plus another four. I don't want to do that because I want to add the fours together. So four and four is eight, and another four is 12, 16, 20, 24, and then that one is 25, okay? Now, I'm going to show you the same way I do, did these little points on the three. So if I have four, I'm going to change it. You see the points one, two, three, four. I think it's called touch map so, um, because you're touching the numbers. So I can count one, two, three, four. So watch me count and you can count with me. Look, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 21, 22, 23, 24. Bam. Oh, don't forget that one. 25. 
I thought this was pretty neat. Uh, I guess I learned this when I was a kid. I don't know, maybe younger than your age. I learned this as a kid. And even as a grown-up, I still use it now because it makes it quicker. It's kind of efficient for me to use with certain numbers. All right, so what do we say it was? 25, right? So write the 5. 2 goes up here. Oh, but that's easy. 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0. That's 0 plus that 2. 2. Bam. Right there. And then now we have 2. 2 and 2 is that's 4. 4 plus 2 is 6. Plus 2 is 8. Plus 2 is 10. Plus 2 is 12. Or let's count by 2s. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. Or if you want to do the touch math like I did, here's the 2. I'll count the top of the 2 and then the bottom, the beginning and the end of the 2. All right? So we can use that. Look, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Bam! And no other place to carry it on. So that's 12. Count over 1, 2, 3. There's a comma. 12,258. 12,258. Circle your answers. Bam. You got that right. If you have a calculator, go ahead and get your calculator and check to make sure we did that right. All right, we are down to our last one, number five. So get everything done. Moving on to the next one. Love you.